That you, Angela? Come on in. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Hi. Is that the puzzle you have for me? Yes, it's a quick little quiz. See what I have drawn on the balloon? A square. Thank you. That's <laughs> what it's supposed to be, a square. I'm going to let the air out of the balloon. I want you okay. to predict, will the square end up looking like that one, that one, or that one? Well, this one doesn't look much like a square, but it's like a square, but the sides are bulged out. Yeah, that's what I was attempting to draw, anyway. This one looks like a normal square. Uh -huh. This one looks like a square with the sides caved in. Right. So which is it going to be? I think it will be this one. Because when the, the balloon right now is round, when you let the air out, it's still going to be round. And I think the sides should go out. OK, that's one theory. I have also a theory. I, and I have sort of cheated because I tried it ahead of time. But let me try this theory on you. I'll take that one because if the air goes out of the balloon an equal amount in all directions, in other words, this sphere just simply gets smaller, the relationships between all these sides of the square and the corners and everything else should stay exactly the same. Okay, let's see who's right. You don't want to change your mind? No. Okay, here we go. It doesn't seem to be changing. It's just getting smaller. You see why I hedged my, my theory a little bit? I said, if the balloon goes down an equal amount in all directions, because yeah. it didn't. It went down a little more on that side, didn't it? Mm -hmm. But if it had, it would have remained a square. Well, I want to compliment you on sticking with your theory. Thanks, but I was wrong again. Well, that's all right. You go try it on your dad. I think he'll enjoy it. Okay.